Tonight's gear review, we're going to talk about Shimano rails. Roll the intro. Let's talk about some of the rails that I use for my feeder fishing. A lot of you know that during this winter time I fish for pike, during the spring, summer, part of autumn, I fish for tench and bream and pretty much anything else that, that I can catch. I quite enjoy throwing the feeders, I quite enjoy fishing for tench with wagglers, I quite enjoy fishing for pretty much anything that's local to me, but I really like feeder fishing. Now, some of my uh, non-pike angling videos you'll see quite a lot about feeder fishing. When I started feeder fishing back in the day, I was using, uh, well, these here. I was using 5000 series Shimano bait runners. These were cracking reels. If you can still get hold of these that are in good condition, they are cracking reels. I've caught barbel, chub, I've caught countless bream and tench, all using this reel. So, if it's so good, why did I stop? Well, Shimano, in their infinite wisdom, don't make these anymore. They stopped making the 5000 series of their reels, which sucks. The 5000 series for me, you'll see that the spool is quite, uh, well it's actually very small. The spool is very small. This is loaded up with feeder bread, but I digress. If you're fishing to about 50 meters with this reel, you can easily do it. It's not a problem. This reel is more than capable of fishing anyways up to 50 meters. This reel itself is something of a Frankenstein. I've had to buy a broken one of these just to get the bail arm spring because I couldn't fit a bail arm spring anywhere. And the handle that's on this reel isn't the handle that came with the reel. The handle that came with the reel had little grooves in the, the rubber bits. So the handle's from another reel, the bail springs are from another reel, and this one's my last one. This has been I've been limping this along, you know, to keep it going, so to speak. So that's the 5000 series Shimano. Shimano don't make them no more, which I think is a bad thing. If you're out there Shimano and you're listening, bring the 5000 series back into production. But all this is a bit of a distraction from what I really want to talk about. What I really want to talk about is the purpose-built feeder reel that Shimano made, the Aero 4000 FA feeder reel. If you watched last year's videos, you'll see that I had some uh, pretty serious issues with this reel. This is still on my rod, I haven't took this out. Uh, this has been literally been sat in the rod hold all since last year, so this is the first time it's been out. It, out of the box it looked good. You know, you have a nice big spool, which when you compare it to the 5000, is, you know, it, it's, it's massive compared to the 5000. Casting wise, it's good to cast. Casting wise, it is good. Bail arm works. The bail arm's got a nice roller. It's got nice easy drag. And it's got a nice handle to crank. Now, one turn of this reel, I think it was 105 centimeters of line. So just over a meter. So every every turn of the handle, it was a meter line pulling back in. So what was the problem? Well, this reel, I had to send it back pretty much the first week I had it. Now, when these came out on the market, I think they were going for just under 150 quid, uh, which is quite expensive for a feeder reel, believe me. You know, so I would be busy casting this. And as you're winding the handle, and I'm not going to wind the handle because it's still on a rod. Put this down. As I'm casting it, you fit the cast, everything's fine. The feeder hits the clip, the feeder sinks. You set the rod and the thing. You go to twist the, the bail arm, 
You go to twist the handle, close the bail arm, nothing works, stops, seized. So you close the bail arm manually and you wind down as normal. That irks me because it shouldn't be like that. When you spin the handle, the bail arm should close. How are you liking these actions? You know, by the way, when you spin the handle, the bail arm closes. Yeah. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. The first reel I had lasted about a week. The reel itself seized up entirely. Wouldn't wind, wouldn't go anywhere. So I took it back to the fishing tackle shop where I got it from. They were, you know, spot on. The guys in fishing tackle and bait where I bought it are uh, they're spot on. They sent it back to Shimano, and four days later, I had a, a brand new reel. And the second reel was okay you know it was good it started off well it worked for about a month and then when you were winding it it sounded like you were kind of grinding coffee it was really 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 loud and really really kind of like it was trying to grind something so obviously something wasn't right so again back to the fishing shop the reel was sent away and the reel came back to me this reel this has been set this is the third one that i've had and the handle, the handle seems to stick. My videos last year, I uh, I said a few, I said a few times where you're 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 trying to wind it. It's like you're trying to force it. You're, you know, that's like the handle would stick in itself, and I don't know why it would stick in itself. Now, this reel I sent to one of my friends who lives in Nottingham in England. He's a Shimano engineer, or he was a Shimano. He's retired now. He stripped the reel completely to its bones. He serviced it. And sent it back to me. He said the reel inside needed nothing. Didn't need washers. Didn't need discs. Didn't need bearings. Needed nothing. It came back again. Worked perfect for a week. And then started sticking again. I said this to him. I said what's the problem? Why is this reel sticking? He basically came back and said. It's a flaw in the reel. Okay. Now I paid £150 for this thing. So I wasn't impressed that, that there's a flaw in it. Uh, eventually did some more research and on the various angling forums that I read the match guys that buy this basically say don't buy the feeder reel version buy the spinning reel version because it's apparently made to a higher standard which makes me kind of wonder what was Shimano thinking about you know why bring a reel to market that they know isn't any good and by the time I tried to get hold of the spinning reel variant guess what out of stock and then guess what? Discontinued. Shimano have stopped making these as far as I'm aware. So now I'm stuck with 150 quid's worth of reel. That is dog turd. Uh, no good. Now on the box it said it said it said all the right things. I mean it's got X ship, it's got perfect line lay, it holds a decent amount of braid. Uh, you know cast it, I mean I have easily cast this thing distances of 80 meters without a problem sitting down in my seat box you know chucking a 60 gram feeder 80 meters, ok I'm using a, a 12 and a half foot or 12 foot 8 Dutch master to cast it but I'm still fit to cast the thing you know at a reasonable distance without having any problems it's just because the reel becomes unreliable so I'm going to replace it. So that's the, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Shimano. I do like Shimano. You know, m most of my reels are Shimano. In fact, all of my reels now are Shimano. I did used to have some sea fishing stuff, but they were a different brick, different make. I think they were Okuma. But surf fishing is different to freshwater fishing. I like Shimano, as I've said. This is the Altegra 5500. This is a mini pit reel. This is a reel that carp guys use. You know, I use this for feeder fishing. This is on my, uh, this is on, I think this is on, this is on the 13 foot 2 uh, 80 gram rod. So this is my, I have three Dutch masters. You know, I have a 60, an 80 and a 100 gram. The 100 gram one is 13 foot 8. So 13 foot 8 or 13 foot 6, I can't remember, but it's 3 Dutch Master feeder rods. The 12 foot one, the 60 gram version that I normally use, covers most of my angling, most of my fishing. Which is probably why that reel gets a lot of abuse. 
I'm now stuck with the decision of what to get next, you know, and I have been looking at different reels. Part of me just wants to say, you know, balls to it and buy another one of these. Because this reel is amazing. This reel is absolutely cracking. Now, carp guys love this reel. Uh, you check the forums, ask deliberately in the forums for problems with this reel. And you'll struggle to really find them. Okay, there'll be some like personal, I don't like the way it looks, I don't like the colours. But for putting a feeder to the horizon, this reel is a cracking reel. So what am I left with? What are my options for feeder fishing? Well, one of my friends has advised, you know, you could do worse to look at the, Pre the Dutch, the, the Preston Innovations Extremity Reels. They are basically, for the money, you can pick them up for £70. They are a bomb-proof out-and-out feeder reel. Now again, okay, fair enough. That looks like a you know, an idea. But that's for another video. This video is all about this reel. Now, I know people out there will, there's bound to people out there that will say, well, I quite like the reel, I enjoyed the reel, I, I still have the reel and it works perfectly for me. And that's fine, that's great, as long as it works for you guys, that is, that is good. We have no problems with it, it works for you. However, personally, not a fan. So, I'll have to swap this reel out. Now, all this stuff I brung to uh, one of my friends who's a Shimano guy, you know, he used to work for them. He's, he's somebody that if I asked an opinion, like, are the C CI4 version reels, are they worth the money? And he would come back and say, well, here's the pros, here's the negatives, here's, you know, even if I said to him, you know, here's a 5000 series, you know, Aero GT from the early 90s or from the, in the late 90s. He would say these reels were built to a far higher standard than the newer purpose-built reels. What happened? Well, apparently they moved their they moved the place where everything was assembled uh, to an area in Malaysia where let's just say the quality control was somewhat lacking. So eventually stuff started to go back to various other places and it took a while for them to weed out the poor quality control so much so that the that the FA4000, the purpose-built feeder reel that Shimano made won't be made again because it's that bad. Now, this isn't me uh, spending you know, 10 minutes dumping on Shimano this is me saying, you know I'm disappointed. You know, it's like just like what happens when you were like a little kid and you did something bad and you you get dragged in front of your parents and your parents don't give you like a belt. They're going to say, you know, I'm not angry with you. I'm just disappointed. And you just sat there as a little kid going, oh, no, be angry. Punch me across the living room. Don't be disappointed with me. Disappointment sucks. That's how I feel right now about the Shimano 4000 FA. Would I recommend that drill? No. Flat out, no. It has a thumbs down from me, guys. I would not recommend that drill. What will I do with this drill now that it's going to be it's going to be retired and replaced? Um, I don't know. I'm going to take the braid off it because the braid was only put on at the start of last year. It's the uh, the Preston Innovations uh, feeder braid. It's the it's the 18 pound stuff. It's actually very good. I really like it. So I'll take the braid off it and the reel will probably get put back into its box and sit on a shelf. <laughs> what more can I say? It's not a very good reel. I don't know what Shimano were thinking of. Uh, the early signs should have been there when the match guys that are sponsored by Shimano were all saying, eh, swerve that, go for, the, go for the, the spinning version one because it's apparently better. There is another version of it that's designed for float fishing. It's the one with the, the, the handle handle like that there as opposed to the single handle. And apparently the exact same problems happen, exist with that one. So take it as you will guys. It's a, it's a no from me on this occasion. 
I would not advise anyone out there to buy the Shimano Aero 4000 FA feeder reel. Again, that felt like I've, like I've just, you know, slapped a long time friend. Anyway, guys, let's just a quick video. If you're out there and you're watching this and you're liking what you see, give the give the video a bit of a thumbs up there for me. It really helps. If you're not subscribed, have a think. You know, have a think about it. It'll help me out. If you've got criticisms, you know, feel free. Let me know what you think. If you own one of these reels and it's been spot on for you, then let me know. But uh, until the next time, troops, stay safe.